Well, it's a chicken and egg type question. Which comes first, childhood obesity or low self-esteem? Either one could cause the other. Now, some Edmonton researchers have found the answer, and it sheds new light on the link between physical and emotional health. <laughs> Seasonal changes was one of them. Uh... What makes kids feel good about themselves? The answers are as different as every child. Having friends that actually care for me. Playing soccer and playing sports and getting good marks in school. And usually my mom, she always uh, says I'm good at stuff and praises me. But a research team at the University of Alberta wanted to know what role does body weight play in a child's self-esteem? The link between obesity and, and uh, self-esteem has rarely been addressed. Population health researcher Paul Vergler and colleagues surveyed 5,000 grade 5 students, asked questions about their ego, and linked them to their height and weight. Clearly what this, the, shows, the results clearly show, it's obesity first, obesity that is leading into poor self-esteem. While low self-esteem in adults often leads to weight gain because of unhealthy habits, it doesn't work that way in kids. Children tend to gain weight first, then lose their confidence. Why? Ask any kid. Probably because they get bullied by people because they, they're not healthy, they're kind of overweight. They get called like names like fatty or porker. <laughs> Researchers say the results are just one more reason to make sure kids eat nutritious food and stay active for healthy bodies and healthy minds. Low self-esteem is a very established marker of poor mental health in the future. If you have um, confidence in yourself, you'll do good in life. Smart kid. Researchers also linked the children's self-esteem levels to their provincial exam scores. While kids with good grades did tend to have more confidence, those with low self-esteem still managed to perform well in school. All right, Gord, how are you feeling? Welcome back. Oh, thanks very much. And speaking of health matters, yeah, I was out for a while, as everybody knows, with the back surgery. And I wanted to say mm -hmm. a big thank you to all the staff at the Duke Hospital and also a really big thank you to the people at the Royal Alex. They just mm -hmm. did an incredible job. And all of our global viewers we got i was just said so many emails yeah. and well wishes and phone calls and the global staff too thanks to everybody it really helped cheer me up and put me on a real good recovery good. everything's 100 percent. yeah we really missed you i can't believe you were lying in bed for what how long were you gone <laughs> six weeks six weeks or, yeah, yeah it was a long, a time, long time but it was a long time overdue and i'm glad it, i can stand up yeah. and motorcycle season i'll be all set to go oh there you go <laughs> thanks Julie. bye